Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening, good to see you. Nice. Good to see you too. Okay, very good. Let's wait one minute for the for the people, okay? Okay. Teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you for waiting. Welcome to today's class. We're going to do a lot of speaking. So that's good. All right, excellent. Um, where are you in the platform? Are you finish, finishing section three? I'm still in 3.4. Okay, por ahí creo que estamos. Let me see. Today, today's lesson is 3.8. So, ahí estamos. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, la sección 3 tiene bastante gerunds and infinitives. Okay. So, van a tener que ver los videos y las clases. Uh, si, si se han atrasado un poquito, ¿verdad? So, all right, let's get started. Today we're going to do 3.8. ¿Quién ha visto el video 3.8? ¿Alguien lo ha visto ya? ¿Alguien lo vio ya? 3.8? Okay, so va a ser prácticamente un poco, un poco nuevo para todos. All right, very good. So let me share my, uh, my presentation with you, okay? Um, El video es como ocho minutos, entonces no quiero iniciar la clase solo viendo el video. Les quiero dar la presentación, ¿ok? Y en base, si se sienten cómodos, entonces vamos a la práctica. ¿Ok? Very good. Let's go to the, to the presentation that I have. Ok, uh, this is the, the section that we're going to do is 3.8, se llama indirect request introduced by that. All right, so just focus on indirect, indirect request, ok? What is an indirect request? Let me show you. Uh, wait. Indirect request, all right. Let me show you my presentation. Ok. Indirect request uh, is, you, is a question, okay, that you would ask. Uh, let me give you, before I do that, let me give you an example. Okay, so uh, I want you to read, help me read a conversation here. So I need three people for this conversation, okay? 
All right, uh, Sara, you're going to be the receptionist. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Omar, you're going, you're going to be Mike in this section. Okay. And and Eric, you're going to be. Solo vas a hablar una vez aquí. C. You're going to be Tony. Okay. So uh, Sara, you're A. Omar, you're B, and Tony, you're C. All right. So let's look at this conversation. And you're going to understand what we're talking about. Um, go ahead, Sara. Okay. Thank you for calling a strong line. My name is Rose. How can I help you? Yes. Is Tony available? I'm so I am sorry. Tony is not in the office at this time. Can I take a message? Yes. Uh, could you tell Tony that his order from Amazon has been approved? I will be glad to, I will make sure, sorry, sure, that, uh, okay, sorry, that he gets the, the message. <laughs> so Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, one hour later, an hour later, okay. Michelle, no estés moviéndome. Okay, go. Hello, Sarah. Tony. Hello, Tony. Good morning, Rose. Is there any messages for me? Yes, Mike called and said that the you order from Amazon has been approved. Very good, very good. So now, what we have here is basically es el, el propósito de la lección. We have a message here that Mike left. Mike left this message. Okay. Now. Mike no está hablando con Tony. Él quiere hablar con Tony. Pero no es posible. So he leaves a message. Okay? Now, he leaves a message for Tony. And then Rose, the receptionist, gives the message to Tony. Okay? So this is what we're talking about. Indirect request is this. Okay? Y también esto. Tiene que ver. Okay, so this is what we're going to try to learn in this in this lessons. Okay, could you tell Tony that his order from Amazon has been approved? Okay, and then when Rose is going to give that message, when the reception is going to give that message, she has to change. She says, "My called and said that your order from Amazon." has been approved, okay? So say, hay que hacer un cambio. Do you see the change? For example, el sujeto, you, okay? And then here, the verb is in the past also. My called, it's in the past, okay? He said, it's in the past, okay? Very good. So, hay que hacer ese cambio. ¿Por qué? Porque él ya llamó, ya pasó, right? So, we have to talk in the past. Eso, eso se llama backshift. So, um, I think with this conversation, you're go it's going to help you understand what we're doing. Okay? Very good. So, let's go to the PowerPoint that I have for you. Okay, let me go to the presentation, right? Okay, so it's it's called indir uh, indirect request. Let me erase. This. Okay, the the grammar that we're going to learn, and um, this is a picture from the video. Okay, uh, we're going to do request in statements, imperatives, yes or no questions and WH questions. So hay cuatro diferentes formas de, de, de que vamos a hacer esta lección, okay? Using statements, imperatives, yes or no questions, and, and WH questions. Statements es simplemente eh, algo en forma positiva que tú dices. Tony's having a party. Imperatives is like a instruction, a direction, Algo bien claro, al punto. Don't be late. 
Okay. Don't forget. Okay. Something very direct. All right. So we're going to try to work statements, imperatives, yes or no questions, and questions. Uh, phrases for indirect questions. Um, the one that we're going to use is could you tell? Solo que le vamos a cambiar el sujeto. Not tell me, sino que can you tell? Uh, could you tell Tony? Would it be possible to speak to Tony? Okay. So, la que vamos a usar is this one. Okay. We're going to use this one. Could you please tell Tony? Or could you please give this message to the, this person? Okay. Very good. Let's go to the next one. So, here's an example. I have Mark. The intermediate is the receptionist and Jeff. Okay. So Mark calls and he wants to say, Tony's having a party at eight. Right. But la persona con el que él quiere hablar no está. Entonces tiene que ir por un intermediario. Eh, intermediate. Here, can I take a message? He's not here. Can I take a message? ¿Cuál sería el message? The Tony is having a party at uh -huh. 8 p.m. Uh -huh. Ajá, como, como en el ejemplo que hicimos, ¿verdad? So, mm -hmm. usa, uh, could you tell Tony, could you tell uh, Jeff, I'm sorry, se llama okay. Jeff, la tercera persona, could you tell Jeff that Tony okay. is having a party? Ese sería el mensaje, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tal como hicimos en el, en el ejemplo. And then, al final, ¿qué le, qué, le di, ¿qué le va a decir la receptionist a Jeff? Mark calls. Um, calls and said that Tony is, going, is having a party. Ahí está. Exactly. Ahí está. That's it. Very good. Uh, let's do another example. Let me erase this one. Okay, let's do another example. Something similar. Ahí está. No, this one. Okay, the same, the same. Mark calls and the message that he wants to give is the dinner meeting is canceled. He wants to tell Jeff that. But Jeff is not there. Entonces tiene que dejar el mensaje with the receptionist. Uh, Jeff is not here. Can I take a message? ¿Cuál sería el mensaje? Can you tell uh, Jeff that the meeting has been canceled? Yes. Has been canceled. Puedo decir has been canceled or puedo decir that the meeting is canceled. Okay. All right, very good. So, excellent. Good job. Now, ¿qué le va a decir la receptionist? A Jeff. Mark. Ella tiene que dar este mensaje. Yes. ¿Cómo, lo se, ¿Cómo se lo va a dar a Jeff? Mark, Mark called. And said that the meeting was canceled. The meeting has been has been was uh -huh. in was is a problem in this case eh, no was what can, say, was, no no puedes usar was the meeting was canceled um, was yeah, canceled you can say it se entiende but yes. you cannot yes. but, no. <laughs> it's better to use a, a back been. shift mm -hmm. you can use it you can use it se entiende you can also use this one, has been canceled, okay? okay? The meeting was canceled. You can it's say better. the meeting is canceled. Si, si tamo, depende del tiempo, cuánto tiempo ha pasado, mm -hmm. right? Between uh, the message and, the, and, and, and when you give the message. Okay, very good. Let's go to another example. Another example here. Este es el último. Mark says, I can't make it to the gym because my car is broke, broke down, right? 
This is the message that he wants to give to Jeff. But Jeff is not in the office. So he has to leave the message with the receptionist. What will be the message? The message will be, can you tell Jeff that I couldn't make it to the gym because my car broke, broke it down? Yes, very good. So let me write it. Could you tell Jeff, this is the message, right? Que está dejando Mark. Could you tell Jeff that uh, I can't make it to the gym because my car broke down? Okay, very good. And now, una hora después o diez minutos después, viene Jeff, se encuentra con la recepcionista. And what is the message? ¿Qué le va a decir ella? Mark called mm -hmm. and said that he can make it to the gym that... because his car broke down. Yes, very good. So let me let me write it. Mark called and said that he uh, he couldn't. And uh, yeah, he couldn't. Mm, I'm going to use can't. Can't wait. Ah. Because his car broke down. All right, very good. Now, si ya pasó el tiempo que se tenían que reunir, ahí depende. Right? Por ejemplo, si Jeff viene un día después. <laughs> Entonces, ya, eso ya pasó. So, it depends on the time. Okay, very good. Mark called and said that he cannot make it to the meeting because his car broke down. All right, very good. Ahí está. So this is basically what you're going to do. Okay, except that you're going to do your own examples. Uh, let me see. ¿Qué más? Uh, remember to be careful with the pronouns. Mark called and said that he. Esto yo se lo agregué. Esto se lo está agregando la, re la receptionist. Okay. Se lo tiene que agregar. Porque está hablando ahora de otro sujeto. Mark called and said that he. Este es, es, este es el sujeto, Mark. Y este es el objeto, he. Yeah. Cannot make it to the gym because his car. His, his es un possessive adjective. Okay. Aquí tenemos un sujeto, un objeto y un possessive adjective. Okay? So, remember, be careful with those. And also, be careful with backshift. Backshift means that you have to speak in the past. Okay? Mark called and said. Okay? Very good. Okay? Uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to use statements, imperatives, yes or no questions, and questions. Let's look at the examples. Si no han visto el video. Hey, Tony's having a party. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Okay. Jeff, don't be late. Could you tell Jeff not to be late? Okay. Yes or no questions here. Are you free on Friday? Eso es lo que le quiero decir a Sofía, pero no está. Can you ask Sofía if she is free on Friday? Okay. Now, puedo usar can and could. No hay diferencia. Solo hay un detalle. ¿Cuál es el detalle de can and could? Do you remember? Could is more polite than can. Yes, it's more polite, correct. So, yo le quiero decir a Sofía, do you have my number? And that's what I want to say to Sofía, but she's not there. So, I have to leave a message. Can you ask her whether or not she has my number? También puede ser if. Can you ask her if she has my number? Usando if. Okay. Uh, what else? WH questions. Yo le quiero decir a Jeff, when does the party start? But he's not here. I have to leave a message with the receptionist. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Uh, I want to speak to Sofia, but Sofia is not here. What time should I pick 
Eh, what time should I pick you up? Eso es lo que le quiero preguntar a Sofía. Eh, remember, these are questions. These are questions. Could you ask Sofía what time I should pick her up? All right. Very good. Simplemente estoy escribiendo lo mismo que está acá. Solo que estoy poniendo, could you ask? All right, questions? All right, ¿qué van a hacer ustedes? This is what you're going to do. I'm going to send you this conversation, okay? Um, al final, si tenemos tiempo, quiero que hagan una conversación así ustedes. All right. Um, we're going to work with three people, groups of three. Here you have statements, one, two, three. I have three statements, uh, three imperatives. Three yes or no questions and three WH questions. Okay? Aquí está el mensaje. Yo quiero que ustedes lo pongan en eh, giving the message to, to the receptionist. All right? Questions? So, van a, van a practicar con este cuadro. Practice the grammar. And then, what you can do, if we have time, crear una conversación así ustedes. Change it. All right. Preguntas? No? Okay, let's go to groups. And then uh, I'm going to send you the material, okay? Very good. I think we can start. Uh, who wanna start first? Uh, I can start if you want. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the first statement. I will be late to the meeting. So the question it will be, can you tell Tony that uh, I will be late uh, to the meeting? I think that's the question. Yes, uh, I think it's, it's right too. So the second one we can put, in, would you say Tony that his car will not be ready today? Yeah, it's okay. The next one is, 
Um, Hello, are you guys there? Yeah. No las escucho. Yes. What happened? Yeah. Uh, we were. Alguien quiere compartir su pantalla para que todos puedan ver de ahí de una sola pantalla. If not, then open the open the document that I sent you in WhatsApp. Y empiecen a hablar. No tienen que escribir nada. Just speaking. Okay, who's, who's going to be the receptionist? No, no es esta lo que estamos trabajando, uh -huh. sino que el, el grammar. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's practice grammar. the grammar. Okay. So the, rece the receptionist is going to say, for example, uh, Jeff or Alex called and he said, he will be late to the meeting. Okay. ¿Qué piensan ustedes, los demás? What do you think about that? Yeah, that's okay if we can play a different role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I call and say I will be late to the meeting, the Omar could be the receptionist. Okay. Yes. Yeah, pueden hacerlo así también. Hello, mm, can I, yes. uh, hello, can I speak to John? Oh, he's not here. Can I take a message? Uh -huh. You can do it like that too. Okay. ¿Te quieren hacerlo así por cada una? Good. Okay. Okay, and the third one. Maybe, could you tell uh, let's use the name Tony. Uh, I will be the meeting. Um, I guess, teacher, we have a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not sure if we have to make the request or yeah, right. eh, no tienen que escribirlo. Si quieren solo háblenlo. Speaking. Um, si quieren hacerlo eh, solo, solo dando la respuesta, está bien. O si quieren hacerlo como eh, un role play. Alguien contesta el teléfono. Hello, can I speak to Tony? Uh, Tony's not here. Can I take a message? And then you say, yeah, can you tell Tony that I will, you know, you can do it like that too. So try okay. to, no tienen que escribirlo, you know. Si quieren okay. solo practice, practice speaking. Oh, perfect. Then, okay. Um, then, if you want, I can start. Um, okay. So hi. maybe it will be, yeah, tell me. Sorry. Like, hi, Pablo. I'm Stephanie. Could you tell Tony that I will be late to the meeting? Okay, oh, I'm glad. I'm, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna be the receptionist, right? I guess. Okay, that's okay for me. So I'm gonna start. Um, okay. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Stephanie, how can I help you? Hi, Pablo. Um, sorry. Um, is Fernando available? No, no, uh, he is not here right now, but can I take your message if you want? Oh, thank you. Uh, yes. Could you tell uh, Fernando that I will be late to the meeting? 
okay um i'm gonna tell them i'm gonna tell him that that new they i post on the chat okay so <laughs> Good evening. Uh, thanks for calling. Uh, how can I help you? Good evening. I had a message for the meeting. Could you take it? Oh yes. You do you want to or, or could you mind uh, leaving a message? Okay. I will be late to the meeting. Okay, I'm going to try to give the message to the other people in the meeting. And okay. thanks for calling. You're welcome. Hi, Omar. There is so, any message for me? Yes, hello. Uh, yes, you have a new message. Um, Alex uh, called and he said, that he's going to be late for the meeting. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, next one. His car will not be ready today. Ah, yes. To not be complicated, can we work like the exercise, complete the three sentences? Okay. At the same time? Yes. Okay. The original said his card will not be ready today. The message could be could you tell um, someone, the owner of the car, that his car will not be ready today? Is right? Mm -hmm. It's correct. Okay. Okay, so do you want uh, I? I can be the receptionist, or are you going to be this time? Whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to be the receptionist again. So thank you for coming to uh, auto parts. <laughs> auto parts, I guess. To the auto parts. And my name, my name's Alexis. And how can I help you? Hi, Alexis. Uh, my, my car is ready for today. No, the mechanic said uh, he the car is not going to be ready for today. Yeah. Can you can you can can I take a message? No, don't worry about. It. I will call you back later. Okay, thanks for calling. Okay. <laughs> now we need the phone. Okay. Hello. Hi, I have a question about my package. Package. Where is it? Oh, I'm so sorry, but your package it hasn't been received here. So what can I do? You can call if you want. You can call later. Yeah. OK. His package has been deleted. No, wait it. The package is already at home, but Maybe he don't know. He doesn't know. He's the third one. Okay, yes, his package has been delivered. Okay. Okay, I have to <laughs> Yeah, say. package is already there. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know. Yes, I have to say your package has been delivered to home. Yeah. Your home. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Don't forget to pick up some eggs and milk. Oh, the next one. 
<laughs> here I, uh, I don't know what can I say for that. Okay. Si gusta para no complicarnos in this occasion, in this situation, could, can we work like uh, the exercise, completed the three sections together? For example, sí. we have this sentence, don't forget to pick up some eggs and milk. And in practice, could be, could you tell to the, the, song, the, the person who is cooking mm -hmm. to don't forget to bring some eggs and milk? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't know how can start. <laughs> Could yeah. you start? And next one, imperative. Give me a call as soon as possible. Give me a call as soon as possible. How do you think that is gonna be the message for the receptionist? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. I'm not too good. <laughs> you can do about it. About creating situations. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Maybe could you tell to your mom the do you, could you tell me to your mom to call me as soon as possible? Maybe, could be, I don't know if that's uh, correct. Yes. Okay, so, um, hello, hello, Alex. Hi. And how, how do you do? I'm fine, I'm okay, pretty well. Okay. So I am calling because I want you give my message to my mom that yeah. don't forget, don't forget uh, to call me as soon as possible, please. Okay, I will tell her. Okay, thank you. Hello, necesitan ayuda? How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Okay, yeah. that just just a question. Uh -huh. We are we are writing the the message that the receptionist is giving to Tony, right? Or uh -huh. something like that. Yeah, okay. okay. Eh, pueden hacer esta esta práctica la, la están haciendo los otros grupos y les puede ayudar. Eh, you can do a role play, for example. Hello. Hi, uh, uh, for example, you can say, hello, thank you for calling Walmart. How can I help you? Uh, is Tony available? No, he's not. Can I take a message? Yes. Can you tell Tony to call me tomorrow, please? You know, something like that. You can do a role play. Okay. Okay. We, we did the role play with the, with the uh -huh. example, like just preparing that. Yes. Yeah. And, so, and you can it's do well. it. You can do it with, with this. Con, con esto, con, with, with, the, with the ones that you're writing, okay? Okay, para que, para okay. No, ajá, para que no estén escribiendo mucho, sino que están como practicing, so you can get the hang of it. Okay. okay. So, we, if you want, we can go like that. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, I, I have already, I have already seen, watch it. I have already, I have already watched The big short. Okay. <clears throat> yes. And um, and you, what do you do for a living? Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Come on. We already finished and we were talking a little okay. conversation, but we can. Okay. For example, uh, let's do a role play. Okay. And go back to the to the to the. Uh huh. Okay. So let's say I'm the receptionist. Okay, Eric, and you're gonna you're gonna call. Uh, you're gonna ask for Tony, and I'm gonna say Tony's not here. Can I take a message? And then you're going to give me the message. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling Starline. How can I help you? Hi, is, is Tony there? No, I'm sorry, he's out the office. Can I take a message? Yes, could you please tell Tony that I'll be late to the meeting? Yes, very good, excellent, good job. Ok, entonces pueden hacerlo así. No sé si ya practicaron de esa forma. So, oh, pra practice with a, with a role play. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, one could be the receptionist. As possible. I think we're gonna return to the group meeting. Oh, okay. Okay, but, but Be, I, I before already... we before we do the anti uh, did you guys practice like for example um let's say hagamos una practica Pablo uh, I'm going to be the receptionist and you're going to give me the message okay 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 oh hello thank you for calling Starline this is Carlos how can I help you hi Carlos my name is Pablo um uh, eh, preguntar por Tony. Ah, ok. <laughs> yeah. I get lost. Well, ok. Um, hi, Carlos. My name is Pablo. Um, if, is there Tony available right now? No, he's not available right now. Can I take a message? Yeah. Can, could you please tell him that I will be late to the meeting? Ok, perfect. Excellent. So, ahí va. So, Let's yeah, do the, teacher, the, uh, -huh. uh we 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 had a um a question mm -hmm. when we use an imperative and for example in this for example in the second example we can say can you please um tell tony to give me a call as soon as possible yes you can say we that. have to use two or we have or we may yes. use uh, that that you have two. to use two. You have to use okay. to give uh, me a call. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an infinitive. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We have a talk with that. Yeah. Y, y si, y si ten, tienen chance de ver el video, el, mm -hmm. eh, el teacher ahí habla de eso. Sí, sí. Yeah. Uses infinitives. Okay, you can do the second one. Do the second one. Uh, let's okay. see. Uh, Stephanie. Okay. Eh, Pablo, ahora tú vas a ser el receptionist. Okay? Okay, okay. Um, Hi, thank you for calling the store line. My name is Pablo. How can I help? Do you want to repeat this one? Weber? Yes. If you want, we can go with this one again. Okay. You're going to start. Hi, Alex. Where are, where are you at? I'm going to the work. When you arrive, give me a call as soon as possible. When you arrive, give me a call as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. I'll give you a call. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Eh, ya vamos a regresar al grupo, solamente que eh, en la práctica que están haciendo, eh, no, no, el mensaje no puede ser a la misma persona, sino que el mensaje tiene que ser a un una persona en medio, como receptionist. Ah, ok. Ajá. Tú le estás dando el mensaje a un receptionist porque no puedes hablar con, con Weber. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, teacher.
Hello. Okay, we're back. Okay, did you did you get a chance to practice? Okay. Yeah. De eso se yeah. trata. Se trata de que ustedes hablen. All right, very good. So let's let's do a practice. Who wants to do? Who wants to go? I'm going to be the receptionist. You call. You ask for Tony. I'm sorry, Tony's not here. Can I take a message? And you leave a message. Okay. All right. Y el mensaje puede ser lo que sea lo ustedes quieren. All right. Uh, who wants to go? Who's going to go? I'm going to be the receptionist. Okay. Hey, Ernesto, ready? You're going to go. Ready. Uh, hello. Thank you for calling Starline. This is Carlos. How can I help you? Hello. Uh, can you pass me with, with uh, Mike? I'm sorry, Mike is not here. Can I take a message? Yeah, can you please tell him that his meeting was canceled? Okay, very good, excellent. Who wants to go? Eric, you're next. Ready, Eric? Yes, ready. Thank you for calling Starline. How can I help you? Could you please connect me with Tony? I'm sorry, Tony's not here. Can I take a message? Yes. Could you please tell Tony that I won't be available until tomorrow? Yes, I can do that. Excellent. All right, very good. So, get uh, Who's going to be the reception? Now, now we're going to do it with three people. Okay. So Ernesto, Eric, and let's see uh, another person. Omar, you're going to be next. Okay. Now, lo vamos a hacer así como hicimos en el, en el example. Remember, Ernesto, you're going to be the receptionist. Eric, you're going to leave the message with, with the receptionist. And Ernesto, you're going to give the message to Omar. Cuando él llega de la oficina, cuando él eh, entra en la oficina, you're going to say, hello, Omar, I have a message for you. Eric called and he said, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ernesto, you're the receptionist. Go. Um, uh, hello, how can I help you? Uh, well, Eric, who's the one that. that Sorry. That's, uh, yes, is Tony available? Sorry, he's not here. Can I take a message? Yes. Could you tell. Could you tell, I'm sorry, what was the name of the third one? <laughs> Puedes usar Tony. It's, okay. That's okay. Yes, could you tell Tony that his order from Amazon has been approved? Okay. Very good. And then, 10 minutos después, entra Tony, quien va a ser Omar. Okay? Okay. Hello, Tony. I have a message for you. Okay, dale, dale el message. Um, Eric called and said that your order from Amazon has been uh, sent. Approved. Received. Approved. Okay, excellent. Good job. Is Did everybody hear that? ¿Escucharon cómo lo hicieron? It was perfect. Yes. Okay. Y eso, eso es lo que estamos estudiando. Uh, indirect requests. Okay, very good. I need three more people. Let's do another practice. Can get it, Omar. Ahora tú vas a ser a receptionist. Okay, are you there, Omar? Yes. Okay, perfect. Omar, you're going to be the receptionist. Um, Stephanie, are you there? Yeah. You're going to be the person giving the message, and then we have. Pablo, okay, Pablo, you're going to be the next person. Y si quieren, usen, usen sus propios nombres. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, Omar is there, receptionist. Yes. Okay. Omar, so you're going to start. Okay, uh, good, good evening. Thank you for calling. My name is Omar. How can I help you? Hi, Omar. Um, I don't know if Pablo is available right now. I'm so sorry, but he's not in the office at this time. 
Can I take your message? Yes, thank you. Um, can you tell uh, to Pablo, no, sorry, can you tell Pablo to give me a call as soon as possible? Yes, I can. I will make sure that he gets the, mes the message. Okay, thank you, Omar. Have a Excellent. good day. Have a, have a great day. Okay, now, Pablo, tú entras a la oficina y tú saludas. Hi, Omar. How are you? I am what have you been doing? By you? I'm fine. Um, I'm a little tired because I have been walking for three blocks, but I'm here right now. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So, I have a um, message can, for you. Yeah. Do you have a message for me? Yes, yes, there is a, a message for you. Um, uh, Stephanie, I don't know. <laughs> Stephanie called and she said that your uh, your Amazon package has been approved. Uh, no, 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 no. It's the, the call. <laughs> To give her a call. Wait, Stephanie, can you repeat the message, please? Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, Omar, uh, can you tell Pablo to give me a call as soon as possible? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Stephanie called and she said that he needs you call you call her as soon as you post, you you can. No, ahí no. lo que está teniendo problema es con, lo, con lo, uh, pronouns. You need to change yes. the pronouns. Stephanie called and she said and to she said, give her a call. Okay, Stephanie called and she said to give her a call. Okay, thank you. I will give her a call as soon as possible. Thank you for the message. All right. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Very good. Now, Pablo, you're going to be the receptionist, okay? Okay. And Alex, you're going to leave the message. And Rosibel, are you there? Are you there, Rosibel? Okay. Vamos, vamos con Javier. So, Pablo, you're going to be the receptionist. Alex, you're going to leave the message. And Javier, you're going to be the, the boss. Que entra a la oficina después. All right? Very good. Okay. Ready? Alex, are you ready? Yeah. Alex Q. No sé si estás ahí. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um, hi, good evening. Thank you for for calling us, for calling a store line. My name is Pablo, how can I help you? Hi, is Javier there? Um, no, he's not right here, um, but can I take a message for him? Yes, please. Uh, could, could you tell Javier that his package has been delivered to his home? Okay. I, I will make sure that he gets the message. Okay, good job, Pablo. Thank okay. you. Now, Javier, you're the boss. You come to the office. Entras a la oficina. What do you, what do you say? Uh, good morning. Is there any messages? Any messages for me? Yeah. Um. Alex, Alex, Alex called a while ago, and he told me. And that your Amazon package has been delivered to your house. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure. Excellent, very good. Hicieron muy bien. You guys did very, very good on this lesson. ¿Cómo se llama esta lesson? Indirect request, okay? You're leaving a message with another person. It is a little difficult because you have to use the pronouns correctly. You have to use can or could, and you also have to speak in the past, okay? Very good. Do you have any questions for this lesson? Preguntas? No? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Uh-huh. 
in the exercise, the last one, the, la uh, the last sentences mm -hmm. with the WH question, mm -hmm. and we, with, with our group, we didn't know we, we have to add the, add the, the at, at the end of the, of the sentences. Okay, uh, the, the, the last question is, uh, uh, what time is the sales training? Okay, what time? So let, let's do a practice. Eh, tú vas a dejar el mensaje. Ah, no, no, yo te voy a dejar el mensaje a ti. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. So, contestar, say thank you for calling. Uh, thank you for calling. My name is Antonio. How can I help you? Yes, hello, Antonio. Is Tony available? No, he's not here. Can I take a message? Yes, can you ask him? What time is the sales training? Okay. Eh, okay. No es necesario, eh, si estuviera yo usando where, where, donde, entonces si sí puedo usar el at al final. Can you, can you ask him where the training is at? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for okay. time, for this example, I don't need it. But if I was using where, where is it at? Nunca he escuchado esa expresión. Where is it at? ¿Dónde está? Where is it at? Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about where, you can use that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Questions? Do you guys have other questions? Okay. Now, um, no sé dónde van por la plataforma, pero. Eh, Ya estamos terminando la sección 3. Eh, nos falta ya 3.8 la que hicimos ahora. Eh, 3.9 es bien similar. Y 3.10. Después, you can go to, that's it. Then you can go to the, to the final, the um, midterm exam. No sé si algunos ya empezaron el midterm exam. ¿Algunos ya, ya empezaron el examen? ¿Yes? Yo no. no. Ok. La, eh, remember, there's a section A, section B, section C, remember? So, um, algunos ya, ya iniciaron el examen, so les los animo. Y vean los videos durante el fin de semana de esta lección. Ok. If you have any questions, then, then tell us. Um, Este nivel eh, están, están aprendiendo bastante gramática, okay? pero están simplemente poniendo sobre la base de lo que ya, ya ustedes saben. Por ejemplo, en esta práctica aquí eh, el, el error más común es los pronouns. Okay? Pero ustedes ya saben los pronouns, no es que tengo que enseñarles los pronouns otra vez. So, so simplemente están construyendo sobre lo que ustedes ya saben. So that's very good. All right, and uh, I try to give you more time to, to do speaking practices. Okay, very good. So I'll see you next week, okay? Vamos por la mitad del curso. Okay. All right, excellent. See I'll you. see you next week, okay? Thank Have a good night. Bye. Good night, see you. Good night.